I'm going to put the brand new TaylorMade Stealth irons up against the Cobra LTD-X irons. Two game improvement irons, but which one will come out better? So two game improvement sets. There's not going to be too much difference, but I will talk about the technology and the design perspective. The design is the biggest difference here. I can see that the LTD-X is slightly thicker in sole length and also looking down at the clubs as well it is slightly bigger of a club. Some would say that you can actually see some of the mass behind the sole, which is a bit off-putting. I still think they're both acceptable for a game improvement set, but the Stealth is a little bit nicer in terms of that shelf appeal. The LTDX, big improvement to the Rad Speeds last year, but when I'm comparing it to the Stealth, the Stealth now is more like the P7 range, P790, P770, so they've made a big improvement. So for me, for us here at Golf Magic, we'd say that the Stealth comes out top on the design front. But then the Cobras are slightly lower lofted. So 23.5 degrees for a six iron, Stealth is 24. I find that with the Stealth, there is more options available for the golfers who want to improve because you could let's say even intertwine them with a piece of a 90 combo set. You can maybe get some hybrids. The Cobra LTDX, I think is a little bit limited, but from my testing I've done already, I felt like the Cobra LTDX actually had better feel to it. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Great shot. That was slightly out of the toe, which shows the forgiveness of this one. I think spin is showing a lot lower in comparison to my initial testing. That could be down to the first two shots not being out of the middle. That was out the middle there, but just slightly blocks it. Another one that, again, showing the forgiveness of these clubs because the, the best one in terms of strike was uh, the one that's hitting the bunker. All the other ones, I haven't hit well. You can see with a smash factor, I haven't hit them well at all. There you go. That's a good strike, finally. Peppering this pin with the LTD. There you go. See, when you can see those numbers eventually at the smash of 1.45, you're seeing it there, the spin climbs up. And I'm really impressed by the spin when you hit it out the middle. It seems to spin consistency across the face, may need a bit of work, but that's just down to the overall user error. And to be honest, even if the spin's low, it's averaging now at 4,300, that kind of is relative to the loft. Another good one, I think that's probably the best strike and you can see that's gone a long way. So that one there is a 240 yard six iron, spin still very low. So I'm thinking there's a slight anomaly with some of this, but if we do take a look at those numbers with the average overall at 227 with club head speed solid, ball speed solid, then looking at that smash factor, very good. The spin is the one thing, the difference between my initial review with this one, with the LTDX, it got quite a high spin. That's because most of the shots I hit in the initial review were completely out the middle. This time I had a few out of the toe and out of the heel and you can see you've got diminishing spin results. But in terms of the dispersion, if you look at the screen there for you guys, you can see there's not much better for a actual six iron. So the Stealth's gonna have a lot of work. The Stealth I do think is a, a nicer club down at address for someone who's played golf a little bit more consistently. But if you're looking at something that's gonna help you get it off the ground, LTDX, low lofts, jacked up lots, a lot of forgiveness. But then again, if I'm talking about the Stealth, the Stealth you could probably have for a lot longer because I could see someone with a handy have a 15, 10, and even single figures putting the Stealth in play. Another one there that wasn't the best strike in the world, a little bit better than the last one because the launch angle's a little bit higher. But pitching at the front of the green just slightly and staying there, not the best strike, really just not the best numbers overall, but spin's still staying pretty high when I am hitting it a little bit better, get that launch angle up. So they are both quite similar actually in terms of those launch characteristics. Ah, that's a shame, that's my, my fault. I'll leave that one in because although that was a bad shot, it's still gone equidistant to where the pin is. As you can see those numbers, spin staying quite high actually because I really wiped across that one. But spin already a lot higher than the actual LTDX, which I'll be honest guys, that's contrasting to my initial review. I'll happily, happily say that.
smash that one, but just a bit over the top. That's getting some, some carry, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. Best one from the stealth. Lands pin high and stops dead. I say it's very, very little to go between them for the actual feel. I think the Cobras are more forgiving. That's quite easy to see already, but that's just, you could say that just by looking and down at the dress, it's gonna be more forgiving. By the numbers you can see here already, although the Stealth is a game improvement iron, it's a bit broader. The LTDX I think will be more just situated towards a bit of a higher handicap. The Stealth, maybe even some, someone with a slower swing speed with a handicap of five or six to put these in play. Get in the hole. Yeah, that's a good one. So looking at those numbers there, all very similar to each other, but slightly higher spin overall. That I will give that as a bit of a caveat because I strike the stealth better. I'm not a robot, so having such a significant gap in the spin, I think it's about 1500 RPM. That is also down to myself. That's always what happens in testing, guys. <laughs> I'm not a robot. The overall data for the stealth, though, I'm actually really impressed by it because it's keeping up in distance just a little bit, lagging behind by about 10 yards, but that's just because of the highest spin rate. And when you strike this thing out of the middle compared to when you strike the Cobra LTDX out of the middle, I think the stealth feels a little bit nicer. As I say in a lot of comparisons, guys, you're not going to go wrong by getting either of these. That is the blunt truth. The LTDX and the Stealth are two superior sets of irons, and it is quite tough to tell them apart. But when you're looking at the slight differences, I would say if you're looking to hold on the set of irons for a bit longer, for let's say three or four years, I think go for the Stealth because you could have them drop down into let's say the mid-teens, low-teens, maybe even single figures, and you could still do very well with them. You don't need to really worry that much about workability of the ball. You can see I'm still hitting a nice high draw there with the Stealth and it could get you down easily to single figures and lower and you'd still happily have them in the bag. I feel like the Cobra LTDX are for some high handicap golfers, maybe down to 18 or so, maybe down to even 15, but I wouldn't push it any further. That's down to the design, it being quite large, and it means they're not very workable at all. They're supposed to go straight and they're supposed to go far. You're not thinking about workability, you're not thinking about how you're gonna hit this shot and that shot, you're just thinking, let's get to the green and try and make a par. When we do go and look at the game improvement irons, I think there's something to be said about the price of them because they are very underrated. The TaylorMade Stealth irons you can get for around 729 pounds and it's about the same with the Cobra LTDX. So they're all around a similar price bracket, but you can really have them for a long time. As soon as you go into the player's irons, which are that the TaylorMade piece of a 90s, they jump up by about four, 500 pounds or so. What are you getting out of it? I mean. I'll save that for a later video. If you are thinking between the Stealth and the Cobra LTDX, my main question I'd ask you is, how long are you thinking of getting them? Are you gonna get them and then once you get down to a lower handicap, are you gonna buy another set? Or do you want them for as long as possible because you want a budget? That's the question I think you should ask yourself because apart from that, there's not too much difference between them. As always guys, if you are thinking of purchasing an iron set, get custom fitted here at the Full Swing Studio at Silvermere, we be a perfect place to do it. But trust me, it will drastically improve your game if you buy a new set and get custom fitted. So all our swings are different. Let me know down in the comments which one you think is your favorite. And if you have any questions about either set, let me know. If you guys are new to Golf Magic, hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos. Until the next video, guys, I will see you later.